with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miris schedule. All conditioned things are as transient as lightning in the sky. Consider the environment or its inhabitants. Everything perishes in the end. Death is inevitable, yet the time of death is uncertain. We thus deceive ourselves in the belief that things endure. Please continue watching for more precious teachings from the venerated Mipam Rinpoche, vegetarian. Don't choose vegan, it will lead you to heaven. Jesu Yirang Yod means a hearty welcome in Tibetan. I am Zhuang. The spiritual Tibetan people support you in following the noble teachings of Lord Buddha, vegan. The first precept he taught us is abstain from killing, which includes abstaining from eating animal people flesh. May a vegan world soon become a reality so all Earth's inhabitants can live in peace and happiness. Welcome to Illuminating the Path to Liberation, Selections of Tibetan Buddhism Texts by Mipham Rinpoche, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. Tibetan Buddhism is a religion with a rich cultural heritage that emerged from a wide range of spiritual practices. These include the complete scope of the Buddha's teachings from the Hinayana, Mahayana, and Vajrayana traditions. Different schools belonging to Tibetan Buddhism today include the Yingma, founded by the venerated enlightened master Padma Sambhava, vegetarian, Kagyu, founded by the venerated enlightened master Tulopa, vegetarian, Sakya, founded by the venerated enlightened master Konchak Gyalpo, vegetarian, and his son, the venerated enlightened master Sachin Kunga Ningpo, vegetarian, and Gelug, founded by the venerated enlightened master Tsongkhapa Lobsong Drakpa, vegetarian. The teachings of Tibetan Buddhism focus on mindfulness of death and the ephemeral nature of life, leading to diligence in meditation and spiritual practice. Mandalas, prayer flags, and thangka paintings are visual reminders for practitioners on the path. Born in the region of Dege in eastern Tibet in 1846, the venerated master Mipam Rinpoche, vegetarian, was identified as an extraordinary child. At the early age of six, he was already memorizing texts, and by the age of ten, he started composing numerous writings. He became an ordinary monk of the Ogmin Ogyen mind ruling lineage when he was twelve. It is said that he fully mastered the extremely difficult mind-rolling system of chanting at the age of 15 or 16 after studying it for only a few days and praying to the worshipped Manjushri Bodhisattva, vegan. The venerated master Mipham Rinpoche, vegetarian, was a prolific writer. With 322 of his Dharma works available to us, as well as more than 35 books on topics ranging from medicine, poetry, in particular the Gesar epics, logic, cosmology, astrology and divination, alchemy, painting, sculpture, and engineering. Today, it is an honor to present some of the wise master's texts on how we can enter the path towards eternal liberation.
Advice for Beginners All activities within samsara, the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, are pointless and hollow, unreliable and fleeting like lightning's streaking dance, and there is no certainty as to when death will strike. Still, since death is certain, limit idle plans and speculations. Allow the teacher's instructions to hit home and strike a chord, and single-pointedly, in solitude, seek perfect certainty of mind. Mind, which is like lightning, a breeze, or passing clouds, is colored by its various thoughts of everything under the sun, but when examined thoroughly, is found to lack a basis or origin. Just like a mirage on the horizon, it is devoid of essential nature. While being empty, it appears, and while appearing, it is empty. Left to settle, naturally by itself, mind arrives at a genuine state of ease, and when familiarity grows stable, mind's natural condition is seen. If devotion to the teacher grows vast, blessings will enter and inspire the mind, and when accumulations are gathered and obscurations purified, realization will dawn. So take this practice to heart, carefully and with constant effort. Illuminating the Path to Liberation, a Preliminary Practice, Nongdro. O oh, Guru, care for me. The freedoms and endowments are difficult to find, like the Udumbara flower, and when secured are of immense significance, greater even than a wish-granting jewel. Yet now that we have this unique opportunity, we fail to accomplish what is of long-term value, and instead waste our time in frivolous pursuits. O oh, Guru, embodiment of the three jewels, look upon us with compassion. Grant your blessings and inspire us to make the most of the freedoms and endowments. All conditioned things are as transient as lightning in the sky. Consider the environment or its inhabitants. Everything perishes in the end. Death is inevitable, yet the time of death is uncertain. We thus deceive ourselves in the belief that things endure and spend our time without due care and attention. O oh Guru, embodiment of the three jewels, look upon us with compassion. Grant your blessings and inspire us to be mindful of impermanence and death. The results of positive and negative deeds do not go to waste. It is through the infallible operation of cause and effect that all the phenomena of samsara, the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, and nirvana come about. Although we are sure to experience the effects of our own actions, still we are incapable of acting and refraining from actions accordingly. O oh Guru, embodiment of the three jewels, look upon us with compassion. Grant your blessings and inspire us to adopt virtuous action and abandon harmful deeds. We face so many sufferings that are difficult to endure, and apparent pleasures deceive us with their transience. All defiled aggregates are but the cause of suffering. Samsaras, the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, three realms, are just like a pit of flames. Yet in our failure to understand this, we remain attached. O oh Guru, embodiment of the three jewels, look upon us with compassion. Grant your blessings and inspire us to develop an attitude of renunciation. Taking Refuge In the space before me is a great wish-fulfilling tree with five main branches. In its center is the Guru Vajradhara of Odiyana, surrounded by the lineage Gurus, Vidam deities, and Dakinis. In front of him is the Supreme Teacher together with the Buddhas of the Three Times. To his right are the Eight Close Sons and the Noble Assembly of the Mahayana. Behind is the Word of the Buddha, in the form of scriptures. To his left are the Eight Supreme Disciples and Sangha of Sravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas. Surrounding them all are the Wisdom Dharma Protectors, and all the sources of refuge of the Ten Directions and Three Times, in their entirety, with none missing like a mass of sesame seeds. Before them all, 
I, my mother and other close relations, and all beings who pervade the whole of space, bow down together in devotion, and consider that from now until we attain the essence of awakening, we take refuge with the utmost confidence and trust. I and all beings of the six classes respectfully take refuge in the Gurus, Vidam deities, and host of the Kinis, and the Buddha, Dharma, and Noble Sangha who fill the expanse of space at the level of the sky. Generating Buddhisitta, the mind that is aimed at awakening with wisdom and compassion for all sentient beings. Just as the victorious Buddhas and their heirs throughout past, present, and future generate the intention to attain supreme awakening, now I too set my mind upon supreme and unsurpassed enlightenment, so that I may liberate all beings who extend throughout the whole of space. I and other sentient beings, infinite in number, have always been Buddhas from the very beginning. In acknowledgement that this is how things are, we generate the mind of supreme awakening. Mandala Offering Within the Dharmakaya Pure Realm, the Dharma Datu expanse of equality, are the self-appearing, unending Sambhogakaya realms of the five families, and an array of Nirmanakaya realms pervading the whole of space. All this I offer as the delightful offering clouds of Samanta Bhadra. For more information, please visit latsawahouse.org. Looking at the food choices and the impact they have, choosing plant-based foods is helping our body. It is helping the environment. It is helping the animals. Mark Reinfeld, vegan. Kind-hearted viewers, thank you for watching today's Words of Wisdom. Please join us tomorrow for part two of this program. Coming up next is Kirkenes, a Norwegian town united by compassion, right after noteworthy news. May God bless you and your loved ones as you walk the path of righteousness and compassion. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.